holy balls, it's hot. Hi guys, so I am in a bit of a tizzy right now. I don't even know where to start this story, but literally about 12 minutes ago, I got back from the beach. My roommate was leaving, which he never fucking does. There was still a little bit of sun out, so I figured that it was my one and only chance to film. Hence the no talking videos lately. But no, I didn't go to the beach like this. I got ready in approximately eight minutes, slapped on some makeup. They probably have makeup in places where they don't belong, such as my tooth. Cool. I haven't showered, I have sand in my hair. I'm currently wearing swimsuit bottoms and I threw on this dress to make it look like I'm really put together and things. This, I don't even know what I'm filming right now. And now we have a saw going on outside. I guess what we're filming is my, my June slash mid-July, I don't know, my favorites for the last couple months since I haven't done a favorites video in literally a year. What the hell is going on outside? I'm gonna try and film this fairly fast because I can't even see the sun right now, but somehow there's still a little bit of light. I have some stuff. Some of it is from the Middle East, uh, stuff that I picked up in Jordan and in Israel. Am I even recording right now? Ooh. If my makeup doesn't melt off right now, it'll be a freaking miracle. Okay, let's begin, shall we? Um, the first thing is this shampoo that I picked up in Jordan. I've seen it in Israel too. It obviously... Oh my god, you've got to be shitting me. I hope you guys can't hear that, but we're going to continue because we have no other option. The first thing I picked up is... Picked up? I've had this for like a year. Batica shampoo. This is the moisture treatment shampoo. Uh, yeah, like I said, I got it in Jordan. It has almond has almond honey yogurt spelled y-o-g-h-u-r-t that's that i was just about to make a really bad joke but i refrained and henna how do you have henna in shampoo i thought henna was not shampooable this stuff a smells amazing b it makes your hair like literally when i get out of the shower it, like i wouldn't even have to use conditioner i feel i still do obviously but it feels really soft uh, this brand is like what my host family had in Jordan and it's fairly cheap but it's really good and they make some really good uh, like deep conditioners too. I'm sure you can get this somewhere in the States uh, or eBay or something. The next thing, let's switch off American Middle Eastern products. Give it a nice flow. Wow, my hair is literally sticking to my forehead and the devil cat is trying to get in. That's going. I guess I'll just do these two together because they're the same. Uh, brand. It's the CoverGirl in LA Rehab. I got it out, that's what matters. Let's start with the concealer. This is a Simply Age Ageless Eye Concealer in 205. This is the lightest shade, I believe. And it obviously comes in a pot, which I really like. Um, you can use like a brush to apply. I just swirl my finger in. This is what it looks like. Um, it has a really nice consistency. It's super creamy, good coverage. I like it because it's kind of pink based. It doesn't give you that like yellow. I don't like the yellow undertones. It doesn't do anything for me. Unless you have yellow under. Okay, we're not even gonna go there. I don't feel like it. Let's just get comfortable here. Okay, next we have the CoverGirl in LA foundation. And funny story. Not that funny, but it's a story, so we're gonna tell it. And I'm itching my leg on this chair because I have horrible, the mosquitoes here are a uh, killer. Anyways, I feel like I have ADD right now. This foundation, my mother actually sent me from America. And I asked her to send me the new CoverGirl, what's that called? CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation. And that didn't happen, but I got this in the mail. Um, but thanks, mom, because I actually really like this, and which surprised me. Like, if I saw this in the store, I would never think to buy it. But I like it because, okay, that's really dirty. We're gonna ignore that, but it has a pump, which is awesome. Also, just the consistency is so creamy. What I usually do, like I did in my sweatproof makeup get ready with me video, which I'll link down below, is I put some of the Revlon Color Stay foundation on the back of my hand and then I'll put a pump of this and it gives it a really nice creamy texture. Um, I don't like the texture or like the consistency of the Color Stay foundation that much. I think it's a little like gluey. I don't know the word. Like it doesn't blend that easily to me. So if I put a pump of this in, it gives you like a little bit of a dewy finish, but you still have the oil control and staying power from the Revlon Color Stay. Mom, this one's for you. Next is let's do a Middle Eastern product. Um, this is called Top Beauty Nail Polish and it is obviously white. It's what I have on my tips right now. This brand I've only seen in Israel. I don't know. Good luck on getting it. It's really cheap but really good. It's super opaque. You know, the point of putting this in here isn't to tell you to buy this nail polish brand. It's that I really like uh, 
white nail polish for summer specifically. I think it just looks really good when you have like, like right now, I don't know, I probably wouldn't paint my nails all white because they're too long, but I think it looks really good in the summer when you have like nicely shaped kind of short white nails. I don't know if that's just me or if I've been on Pinterest for too long, but um, I really like white nail polish in the summer. Next, uh, we have the e.l.f. High Definition Powder, which I'm sure you've all, all have heard about. Um, I tried this a few years ago, I absolutely hated it, and then I was looking for a translucent, translucent powder, and I didn't want to, okay, my camera just cut out, not quite sure where it stopped, but as I was saying, I used to have major issues with getting uh, mascara on my concealer, like from my bottom lashes, little dots, if that makes sense. And this stuff, if you just put a little bit, <laughs> what am I saying? You put this under your eye concealer, on your under eye concealer. Maybe I should just stop making a video today. It completely sets it. You won't get creasing. You won't get mascara lines. All right, my camera battery just died and the sun is literally about to set over the building. So I figured I would just keep filming on my iPhone. So sorry for the quality. This bad boy. Also like this translucent, translucent powder um, because it doesn't change the color of your foundation. So if you have a perfect match for your foundation and then you are having issues because you put a setting powder over it and then it doesn't match your neck anymore, uh, which I was having for a while, then this is perfect because it's clear and it'll set your makeup and it makes your face feel really soft. Alright, so the next Middle East product is this Garnier Pure Long Lasting Shine Control Moisturizer. And uh, I picked this up at Super Farm, which is like the big pharmacy here, and it was on sale, and uh, I really like the Garnier skin line. Everything I've tried has been amazing. I really like their face wash, the oil control face wash. Uh, it really does control your oil, and it works, and I really like it, and it smells really fresh and clean, so that's always a plus. The last rave for June is this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow. Uh, this is an ice latte, which I'm sure you guys have all heard about. However, I think it is gorgeous, and I recently rediscovered it. It comes with this little press thing, and you just take it out, and then the inside looks like that. Oh, there you are. So pretty is what I have on my lid right now. It's just really pretty for the summer if you don't want to do like a whole eye look and you want to do something really fast just plop this on and it'll make you look like you have like your eyeshadow done even though you spent two seconds on it um i only have a couple rejects for this month ish um the first one i fucking hate okay well we have a very love hate relationship because i think it's an awesome product and it does what it says but uh let me just say the product is the rimmel stay matte um i have another one because i brought it from the u.s just so you can actually see what it looks like. I'm gonna murder this cat. Okay, you need to chill the fuck out. It's great. It's a great powder. It completely controls your oil. It makes you look completely matte. However, for my skin, it makes my skin horrible. Um, I have like acne over here that gets really bad. And I started noticing a pattern that whenever I use this, like which I usually only use when I don't have self tanner on and I'm like really, really white. Um, but when I use this, it gets 50 times worse. Like, I can't even touch my skin. My acne gets so bad, it hurts, it's painful, and I definitely uh, realize that I break out when I use this stuff. It's a shame because it's awesome. I like it as a product, but you need to calm down, Faust. Um, my second reject is this. I really, really, really wanted to like this. I had my mom send me this in the package with some of that other stuff. Um, because I can't tease my hair like my hair is so thick that it doesn't hold the tease and I like the look like I love big ass hair I want big ass hair Did you just sneeze? Bless you. I like big ass hair, but I can't get it And so I thought that I would try this powder got to be powderful volumizing styling powder. Oh Wow can cats get sick? It says it's for instant volume and it has root lift, root lift texture control. I don't know about the root lift, it doesn't really do that much for me. I don't know about the control, but the texture makes you feel like you haven't washed your hair for a year. And that usually doesn't bother me, like I don't wash my hair that frequently to be honest. However, this stuff literally feels like you poured some kind of concoction in your hair that should not be there. You're supposed to like powder it and then rub it and it gets all big and things up here. Your hands like feel 
sticky afterwards. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's absolutely disgusting. All right, I think the sun is officially down now, and we are done with all the products that I laid out. Just say hi, Faust. Stop trying to make an appearance. Just do your thing. Faust. Anyways, this is not my cat. It's my roommate cat. If you want to hear cat stories, roommate stories, everything, you can follow my Tumblr where I write blog posts about uh, Israel and my summer here and everything like that. Like I said a couple videos back, thank you guys for sticking with me throughout this whole long traveling journey thing. You guys are awesome. Your Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, comments, all that jazz makes my day. If you want to be updated more frequently, you should just follow my Instagram because I have an Instagram addiction and I post every five seconds on there. Probably gonna need to like wash this dress now that I've been profusely sweating in it for the last hour. Alright, I'm gonna go before this gets gross. Okay, bye.